Alrighty, today, November 30th, arguably one of my favorite days of the year because it is officially the end of hurricane season. It's the last day of hurricane season. And no doubt it's kept us busy, not only here in the Weather Center, but across the First Coast. So let's take a look back on this previous season and years past because it's a good way to show how our climate is changing. In early October, a lingering long period swell fills the coast. It's a swell that traveled over 2,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, hurricane season is something we're waiting for. South side of this pier, it's been pretty good. And for most of the morning, surfers enjoyed the energy from one of the Atlantic Ocean's most powerful hurricanes, Lorenzo. It is the easternmost Category 5 ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. You told me many times before, you've always said more heat means more energy. Well, where have we seen this much of a change? Okay, how long did that change take? one to two degrees globally. It would take 10 to 50,000 years, and this has happened the last 150. The past five years, 2014, 2015, 16, 17, and 18, are the warmest in recorded history. If we were hit by one storm, a news anchor might say, is this proof? And I'd say, well, we can't say one storm is proof, but if this indeed is happening, we're gonna see things add up. And then what's happened? Andrew, 92. Floyd, end of the 90s. Then comes 2004, where there's four hurricanes in six weeks. And then think about the last, what, four or five years. Matthew, Irma, Michael, Dorian. Outside of storm systems blasting neighborhoods and news headlines, without paying close attention, sometimes a change in climate can be overlooked. Jacksonville, the river city by the sea, an economy, an environment that thrive on a healthy St. John's River. St. John's River is a very complex system, and there are so many factors that influence it. But it's also a very flat system. Meaning small changes in the environment can mean big changes in the river. The smallest increase in high tide means more flooding. The smallest increase in temperature changes a fish's migration pattern, or the smallest change in salinity means the Mayport shrimp are harder to find. We've dredged the river. We have paved over wetlands, but we are seeing both man-made as well as natural changes in the system. Changes in the river that make reaching equilibrium difficult, just like the changes in the atmosphere. More extremes. Hot is hotter, cold is colder, and the storms become stormier. Steve Fendero, First Coast News, on your side. And we got to always remind our Climate and weather, while they are related, two separate things. Think of climate as your personality and weather as your mood. Moods change all the time. So let's focus on our mood for the weekend, and that is the weather. Right now, it is a beautiful morning. Get out and enjoy upper 50s to near 60 degrees. We'll get to the 70s out on the sand, so no doubt it's a beach day. Get out and enjoy. Any and all outdoor activities today look fantastic. Into the 60s for the lipo parade, so maybe just a light sweater or jacket. And this is after quite a warm afternoon. We're going to get up to the upper 70s near 80 degrees today. Just a few late day clouds filtering in, but plenty of sunshine to go around. And then we warm up even more low 80s for most on Sunday. Could be pushing record temperatures. That's because we're ahead of an approaching front, which will drop in some of those showers on Sunday afternoon. Let's time it out because it doesn't completely ruin our Sunday. Now the best chance for this precipitation will be for our southeastern Georgia communities between about 1 30 and 3 p.m. on Sunday, right? So early afternoon, right around lunchtime could be a rumble of thunder as well. Then the broken line of showers breaks apart a little bit more as it works to the Florida Georgia border and the I-10 corridor. That's around 5-6. So that's right after the Jags aim game comes to a close. And then behind the showers and the front comes the cold air. Ooh, look at next week. We need the sweaters.